That's the shark, Sean Becker. Sean Becker in car number 27. The 2013 Silver Dollar Speedway Champion completes his opening qualifying lap and the time is 12.337 seconds. One, two, three, three, seven on lap number one. Two victories here this season, June 7th and July 12th for Becker. Your fast qualifier this evening in car number 27, the Shark Sean Becker. Becker's time, 12.337 seconds. Transfer spot as they reach the end of the backstretch. Tim Kading looks to the inside. Swindell goes down to the bottom. Dominic Selzy up on top. Caution car upside down in turn four. But Wahlberg tumbling the way in car number 11X. We go green. Oh, trouble car upside down. Bobby McMahon got over a wheel in turn one. Tumbles between one and two. Red flag condition. Silver Dollar Speedway, you wanted the best, you got them for a best, often imitated, never duplicated, the greatest show on dirt, the World of Outlaws STP Sprint Cars! We're green. Look at Jonathan Allen work the high side of the speedway. Allen up the third and challenging Brad Sweet for the second spot as they reach turn three. Brad Sweet around the outside of Jason Sides. We've got a new leader. Brad Sweet makes the top run in one and two. Gets by Jason Sides. To go Brad Sweet leading at Jason Sides in second. Joey Saldana third. Jonathan Allen fourth. Shane Stewart fifth. Andy Forsberg sixth. Sweet upside down in turn two. Sides up top, Saldana down low on a turn two. New leader, Joey Saldana, as they exit turn two. Saldana was able to take the lead. Joey Saldana will lead lap number 23. Backstretch for the final time. For the first time in 2013, Joey Saldana is a World of Outlaws winner. Jason Sides second, Andy Forsberg third, and Tony Shaw. Minimum weight requirement, 1,400 pounds with a driver in the car, unofficially your top 10. Up, ladies and gentlemen, your main event winner, the Brownsburg Bullet, Joey Saltana. Get it out. Now let me... Look. Main event finish, Joey Saldana, the winner in the 71M, Comps industry leading, field proven RFX wireless weighing technology is the most advanced wireless weighing technology of Colby Copeland. Top one for Colby Copeland is seventh quick at a 12, 515, 1, 2, 515. That will bump Keith Bloom, Shane Stewart on the heat race inversion bubble. Second lap for Colby Copeland is quick time at a 12. 362, 1, 2, 3, 6, 2, and that is our final qualifier this evening. So tonight's fast qualifier in car number 23, Colby Copeland. Up high, trying to get around Rose. Copeland and Greg side by side for third. Oh, a little bit of a bicycle. Copeland spins sideways in turn four, and behind him a car upside down hard. Steve Kinzer got tangled up. The 
lead down the backstretch. Jason Myers to the inside of Jonathan Allard, trying to take the runner-up spot. Allard back to the cushion in three and four, trying to drive around the outside of Pittman, but Myers gets back to the inside. Myers back to second as they reach turn one. Jason Myers back to second, now to the inside of Darren Pittman, new leader Jason Myers into turn three. Myers leading lap 22, Jonathan Allard now up the challenge, pick up for second. Jason Myers pulling away from the field in the 21M. Kading now passed on the outside by Kyle Larson, Kyle Larson back into the top five, Larson around the outside of the left in the 2013 Gold Cup Race of Champions. Jonathan Allard. Backstretch for the final time into three and four. Hot foot Jason Myers is a two-time Gold Cup winner. Andy Forsberg second. Jonathan Allard third. Kyle Larson fourth. Darren Pittman fifth. The Corporate America Lending 21M in victory lane. He's climbing out. Jason Myers, your Gold Cup champion! Fourth, the 51 of Paul McMahon, 25th, the 9W of Brandon Wimmer, and in 26th, the 83 junior of Kyle Hurst. Darren